Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about uh, why do people tend to migrate? What are the key factors that uh, usually motivate them or maybe that become the causes of migration? So on average, uh, 4 million people migrate every year from and within the country in Pakistan. And top five countries of destination for Pakistani migrants include Saudi Arabia, India, uh, United uh, Arab Emirates, United Kingdom, and United States of America. So here you see that the glimpse of migration, usually that is the reflection of that migration when Pakistan came into being. What can be the determinants or the causes of migration? Are the first one can be considered the economic determinants, which is usually considered uh, the most compelling factor uh, when it comes to migration uh, that the prospects of higher wages are sometimes very strong motivation for people who tend to migrate from one country to another and then we have the better employment opportunities for example people usually go to the gulf countries or to europe or to U uh, usa uh, only because they uh, have an idea that there would be better economic op or op employment opportunities available for them. And poverty, uh, as we see that migratory trends are usually from the low-income countries to high-income countries, so definitely poverty is one of the pull factors that, uh, that usually pull people to uh, or usually force people to migrate. And the lack of incentives in their home countries where people are less likely to stay because they lack the opportunities, uh, economic opportunities. And unemployment and brain drain are another key factors. Brain drain means that the highly professional or highly educated class tend to migrate to the other countries where the opportunities are available as compared to they are tend to serve their own home countries because they think that the uh, value of their skills is far less in their home countries as compared to where they are migrating. And then we have the socio political determinants. Uh, first one can be the ethnic persecution. There are certain ethnicities which are often being targeted by the certain political government. Uh, for example, if we see that in Kashmir and in Palestine, uh, we do find that the religious persecutions are being occurred and that can be one of the strongest factors for people to migrate to other countries. Or sometimes it is the cultural persecutions as well. Uh, war can also be another push factor which can force people to migrate from one country or maybe from one space to another space. For example, in Afghanistan, we have seen that uh, in the past few decades, uh, uh, a lot of people have been displaced uh, from Afghanistan to, another, to the other countries because of the continuous wars. And threat of the conflict can also be uh, one of the factors. Uh, the, the low standard of life is the factor usually from uh, people from migrating from lower income countries to the higher income countries. And we also have uh, some political governments um, in the past who have been forcing people to exile from their native land to the other lands because they, con they were considered perhaps blasphemous or they were considered uh, having controversial views because of that, governments didn't like them, so they were forced to be exiled from their countries. Uh, ecological determinants are also uh, important to be discussed because the climate change uh, is becoming an uh, important factor. Uh, there are certain floods and or there are certain weather uh, conditions which which, uh, which usually become unbearable for the people or in the situations of drought for example when people do not find the adequate food and water uh, in their places of living so they tend to migrate to the other areas where they find the conditions sufficient for the life.
Uh, other determinants may include the communication technology, idealization of uh, other countries. For example, we tend to idealize people living in the European countries or uh, uh, Western countries uh, because the life amenities or facilities are abundantly available over there or the exaggerated living conditions of those countries can also become a very much motivating factor for the people to migrate. Also, we find that uh, uh, tourism uh, can become one of the factors. For example, people who can afford, uh, they usually migrate to other countries only because they can get a very uh, luxurious lifestyle and they can tour around the world easily. They can, they can move around the world easily once they have uh, the passport of some uh, developed country. So their uh, cross-border movement becomes pretty easy. And education is one of the strongest motivating factors for, especially for the youth to migrate maybe from internal migration and also to the international migration. A marriage and business can also be two important factors. If a spouse is living abroad, uh, he or she can call in his or her spouse to the other country based on the marriage contract and the business is also an important factor. For example, if the conditions are not favorable for the businessman in, an, in one country, they would tend to migrate to another country to settle up their business over there.